Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts for the day for today. It's Monday, the 22nd of January. Hope you had a great weekend. Max Smith here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Lots going on, it seems. Not only today, but during the course of the week, we are likely to see plenty of market movement. Uh, looking at the headlines, of course, the S&P 500 closed at an all-time high on Friday. The bulls wrestle control back again. We had improved earnings optimism, a fairly broad-based rally with winners versus losers, about 70 to 30. Earnings are going to dictate sentiment as we see a ramp-up of earnings season this week to see if stocks meet current valuations as shown by the market. The inflation data is also due with the PCE number at the end of the week. US futures have followed through on that. We've seen positivity in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally positive, although we have seen some weakness in the Hang Seng and the Shanghai indices. ASX is up a little over two-thirds of one percent. And we are expecting the European markets to open positively this afternoon if we look at the futures contracts. US dollar index was softer to close the week. We've seen a little bit of weakness again today. Uh, gold did recover some of the losses and is pushing back through 2030 in Asia today, although it looks as though it's just lost a little momentum as we've moved through the session. Copper has edged upwards to retest that 200 EMA, but is sitting below it at the moment. And all has pulled back from resistance to remain in a tight trading range that we've been in for some time now. Uh, Bitcoin holds 41,000. It is soft again today in Asia, but hasn't yet breached that level. No change in the PBOC interest rate. Little else of note today on the data front. But the Bank of Japan will have influence tomorrow with the rate decision and policy statements. Also got global PMI coming out this week. Company reporting ramp up, as we've already said, and the PCE data due at the end of the week. So plenty for the markets to digest. Let's have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI today. And the GB pound Australian dollar looks interesting. We have a push against this 92.60. We have a push against this 192.65 level, which is the pivot. And you can see there, we've had several attempts already today to have a pop at it. We've failed again in the last 30 minutes, but we see this move. We may see this move up to 193. If we get a breach, it's one worth keeping an eye on, particularly as we get towards the European session open. On the ASX, lots going on. We're liking Altium Limited, and you can see there we're testing this resistance at 98.25. We did start off higher in the day, up to test 49, uh, but just pulled back during the session. So this is worth checking out in the last hour of the day. Uh, you can see there this was previous highs back in August 2023. And of course, this represents all time highs on this stock. So one to keep an eye on would be worth looking at, as we said, towards the back end of the session. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.